Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a great day. All right guys, I got a quick video for you. Just a couple anomalies in this Gigapan that might also show some kind of intelligent design. Now some of them kind of look like rocks, some not so much. Let's get into this because uh, this is pretty cool actually. All right, this was this pan was made by Neville Thompson. Again, thanks Neville for, for your work. And it's from MSL 744 and MassCam 100, so it's the, the larger MassCam camera. Um, now, somebody had seen this, so this is uh, my find, and I'm not sure who it is, so I'm not going to take the credit for it, but I just want to run it by you guys real quick. This is not what I wanted to show you, but something I've seen on Facebook, but just figured I'd show it to you. What I find interesting is you've got this 90-degree angle right here, goes across, goes over to here, keeps going, and then stops. You can see a corner, literally a corner right here right there see that let's get this in the middle and you can see it right here it actually stopped perfectly 90 degree angle right there but right underneath it and behind it right here is another 90 degree angle a larger piece in the back side of it see it comes over goes flat in the back here goes across down to here 90 degree angle again this one here is skinnier it looks like it's skinnier it has a 90 degree cor corner right there you can see the point to it goes across all the way down to here, 90 degree angle, and goes over to here. What I find interesting is this straight piece coming straight down. See that? Like it's mechanical in some sense. Like it's a frame of something. See that? And you can see other stuff. Guys, to me, it just seems like Mars is an absolute junkyard. Um, it was a civilization thriving at one point, and this is what happens. Um, look at this. I don't know if there's some kind of strap, steel strap, or some kind of design piece. It's a little bit difficult to see this because there's actually a stitch line right here. You can see it right here running right across it. See that? Um, but you can see it looks like it, it's it got a line here just like this. Back on this side, it has one, two pieces, a space in the middle. But it looks like some kind of weird strapping of some sort right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. What is this? Look at this. This kind of looks like it's been ghosted out. See that? Right there. Got that whole... Almost looks like a sprocket to a bike. See that? The way it goes off and has the spaces right there. Almost looks like it's been taken out or ghosted out. Just some of these things. Look at the way, I mean, you see these striations here, but it makes you wonder, are these all uh, rock? Which I believe a lot of it is. Um, or is it stuff that's been encrusted like this other object here? I'm not sure what to make of that pile of trash on top of that. But I'm wondering if that's being blocked out by NASA's CGI department, right? All right. There's something else that's kind of weird down here. See if you can even find it. Some of this stuff is hidden so well it's just crazy. All right, like this piece here. It looks like you got this side piece here. One, another side piece here. Goes up at an angle right there. Same thing on this side. So you go up, angle, and then it goes straight across, angles back down, and then comes back down over here. See that? I don't know what to make of that. Got some other pieces right here. Looks like it doesn't look like a sand color at all. In fact, there's something underneath this. You can see where it's been buried or they have taken it out. Now, this last item, this is the one I think, it, it almost looks like a snow globe. Remember, like, a lot of the snow globes, they have, like, a color in the back half of it, but the front is transparent. And then, of course, you can see whatever's in it, like the little town with the snow and all that BS. But this is cool. Right here, dead center of the screen, you can see this block. And I'm going to zoom into this in a second. You got this block right here. What this looks like a globe, and it looks like it's it's no rock at all. Check this out. What do you guys think that is? And you can see the straight line literally coming straight down. It looks like it's facing to the left. If it was some kind of weird type looking, like I said, almost like a snow globe type thing. You can see it's, color, it's like a red color in the back of it, transparent in the front. And you can see the straight line coming straight down there. So let me just back out just a little bit. To me, guys, that's pretty crazy. Look at this object right here to the left of it. Kind of goes up like this, slopes down, and then comes right back down. And there's two parts to it. There's the back side to this thing, too. Goes up, goes down over here, and drops right back down. And the other side is right here. It goes, do, does the same thing. Of course, you can't see it because there's other mess right here. But it looks like they try to color that and take that out of there. When I see things like this, I just it just screams to me technologically advanced stuff. This is not something that looks like a rock. This looks like a transparent piece of glass, plastic, whatever it may be. And, you, of course, you got the darker back piece, and it looks like some kind of weird little globe or a little dome right on top of this 
almost looks like a square rock. Of course, it doesn't look very even, but you can see it's pretty thick and goes across. It looks like some kind of block, and this thing's sitting on top of it. I, I don't know. And I think these colors are put here to throw off the eyes. That's what I think. What do you guys think about that? Some of these things look like just, you know, just debris. And I think a lot of these things are being turned into what looks like rocks. And I don't believe the rocks at all. I believe there's much more to these photos. Look at this. This rock's got some kind of weird, like, rectangular opening and a small one on top of that. See that? Yeah, just a rock. That's all it is. Now, look at the edge of this. It comes down and then has a straight edge going all the way back. But yet, it looks like a freaking rock, right? But come on. Look at that. Perfect facing to the left. Looks like a vent. Looks like a little bit smaller but taller vent. And look at the edge of this. Straight down. It looks like you can't really see the corner too much, but it goes straight right down here. Come on, guys. These things are being made to look like rocks. They're not rocks. Look at this thing. Just happens to be that perfect. Look at this. And you can literally see it's rounded. See that right there? It comes up and then back down. Same thing with the middle piece. Same thing with the top piece. What's the chance of that being almost perfect, every one of them? Now, I'm not saying nature can't do that. Of course, nature can. But when you see a bunch of crap like this, here's the thing. I, I know a lot of you guys live in rocky areas. And I've been, a, I mean, I live in West Virginia. It's the mountain state. It's got all kinds of rocks and crap to see. And the funny thing about it is, Usually you see like, like when you see like a group of rocks, it's like, let's say it's been in the water. Let's say you're in, it's an old dried up stream. Well, chances are if the rocks have been there long enough, they're rounded, smooth. But then you come across pictures like this and it's like real smooth rocks, super jagged. Some of this, some of that. It's like extreme differences in rocks. Is that possible that nature can do that? I'm guessing it can. But some of these things, come on. These things are absolutely being made to look like rocks. Look at this, whatever the whatever that is right there. Just some of these pieces in here, guys. Just crazy. We're looking almost looks like a teardrop item shaped item. See that? Oh yeah, this is this is good stuff here, guys. Look at this. What do you make of that? A rock. Good possibility. Fifty-fifty, right? Look at this thing. You got this dark rock, and then all of a sudden you got this piece right here. Look how smooth that looks. Comes up like this, goes down. Got this white piece, got this opening. And you can see where it kind of goes up, goes across, and then back down. Whatever the hell that is, like I said, you can see that fine line. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, going up, goes across, and then back down. And you got the back of this right here, nice and smooth, has this opening. Looks like it's buried in the dirt. Whatever that is... It's hard to tell, but again, look at this. It, looks like, it just looks like a debris field. That's the best way you can put this. Look at this. Almost looks like this end of this block. You can see it's very dark here, but it goes down like this, goes up, goes across, has a white piece here. Look at this. Look at that. See how you can see? This is a perfect example. Something white. And you can see the white in behind this black piece? H how does that work? How you know, if some people say, well, that's a rock right there. Well, how is it transparent? I can still see the white from this piece in behind it. This is being covered, guys. It's being covered up. I don't know why they don't just, just come out and just say, listen, you know, uh, we found, uh, you know, evidence of a ancient civilization. You know, they were rocked by some catastrophic event. Look at this up here. Check that out. It's got an opening and it's something inside it. See that? Right there. You can actually see the line to it right there going like this. Going down. Whatever the hell that is. That's kind of funky looking. But just take a look. Sometimes you can see like a rock and then you'll see like a nice straight edge. You go, wait, wait a minute. How does a rock have a straight edge to it? And I don't mean like a naturally straight piece of shale. I'm saying like you'll see like a rock like this. Like here's a perfect example. See these two little holes right here. See this? One, two, three. Now, again, that could be natural, but then you got this weird, funky thing sticking out of the bottom. Just these crazy little things that you find in these in these photos. Look at that. See that? Guys, again, you know, you guys will get the link to these as always. That's how we do it on this channel. And just go over these things with a fine-tooth comb. Just take your time. Look at some of the shapes that are... Now, again, I can see all kinds of rocks. I mean, common sense, right? Probably 95% of this stuff is, 
his actual rock and stone and laid rock and whatnot. And then his stuff that's being made to look like rocks that clearly is not. Look at this. Look at this thing comes out like this, straight across, goes back in. And it almost looks like it has like something going straight up right there. See that? There's another edge right there. And goes straight up. I mean, you know, it's, to me, the CGI department can just put any texture on these, and as long as it doesn't look intelligently made, it doesn't matter. We can speculate all day long. They don't care. As long as you don't see the actual real item, there's, you'll, you'll never think nothing of it. Here's that piece again. And, and they'll just leave it up to the people to argue, oh, it's a rock. No, it's not. It's a rock. No, it's not. I mean, and, and that's pretty much they don't care as long as they don't, you don't actually see the real item. It can literally be shaped. Like, like something intelligently made. And as long as it has a texture as a rock, people are going to, it's a rock. What are you talking about? And that's just the way they like it. They don't care. Check this thing out. What is this cluster? I didn't even see this earlier, but look at this. Got this opening at the top of it. See that? And you, come on. Look at that. You couldn't get much straighter than that. 90 degree angles in these corners inside. Look at this cluster. It looks like some kind of parts or something. See that? What do you make of that? That's pretty cool. Some of these things, like this is another thing that kind of blows my mind. Look at the way this thing is shaped in here. It comes down, goes like this. has this nice, smooth going down like this here. It looks like whatever this was caved in. See it? It looks like it used to go straight right across like this, which it does, but it sinks down now in the middle. There's something right there, too. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's some kind of weird little detail in there. This goes up like this. Check this out. Look at the way these openings are. Comes over, comes down, like this, and there's something directly in the middle of it. Rocks do that? Some funky looking rocks, guys. To me, these are not rocks. That's just my opinion. Again, nobody has to agree with me. I just, I just bring this stuff to you guys, we analyze it, and then you make up your own decision what you think it may be. Look at this design in this rock. See that? Is it some kind of design guy? Look, it looks like something round there, round here. Back a little bit, get a little bit clearer, and then we can zoom way in. There's like some kind of weird design in there. See that? This right here, what is that? Looks like it's double layered, whatever it is. See it right here, it goes like this. And then just below it has this other section with like pieces that separate the top and the bottom. Not sure rocks do that. I can imagine though NASA just like these guys sitting back watching us analyze these things going, yeah guys, you can find anything you want, but it's still swamp gas. No matter what you say it is. You know, you go, I, a couple of people have actually asked them and they said, well, it's just your pareidolia. They'll tell you right now, it's your pareidolia. It doesn't matter if it was something crystal clear, it's still your pareidolia. Uh, check this out. Look at this item. It has this like art shaped piece. Looks like it's almost cylindrical. See how it goes down there? The whole body of this thing comes up, goes over. Again, another one to the left of it. Comes up, goes over. This one does the same. Look at this. Come on, guys. That's that's a rock? And I think these are awesome to be able to pick these things apart like this because every time you see it's just something else that was intelligently made we found. And I'm not talking about just simple rocks because clearly we got a lot of rocks here, right? This funky looking thing. Crazy looking rock. If it is a rock. Look at this. Something here, they put a big mash of shit right here. Look at this. Almost looks like some kind of wing to something. See, it comes up, goes like this. And then whatever it is, see, it comes down. This whole body of this thing. You can see something here. Something's here. Look at this. A little piece of white, but it goes down. Nice straight piece. Very thin. Coming down, this pot right here comes down. Look at this. Another white pot of it right here. Got this like, almost like a small, almost looks like a small wing to that right there. Guys, look at this crap, man. And you can see where they try to go over it. Where they kind of try to just like haze it over. Something in the back here. What is this? This box of block looking thing. Comes down, up and around. Lots of things to see here, guys. A lot of things to see. Look at this here. 
Come, look at this. Goes over like this. Has this opening. Check this opening out. Opening here, rectangular. Look at the way that is. Comes down like this here. See that? Almost like a rooftop to a car. And you can see this piece right here, how thick it is. Comes down here. Now, I'm not saying it is a roof to a car. I'm just trying to give you an idea what the shapes are. Doesn't mean that's what I really mean that it is. I'm trying to give you guys an idea what I what the shape of it looks like to me. The first thing that pops in my mind. I'm not saying that's what it is. Just just the idea of the shape. Nothing more. Look at this. This piece right here. This is neat. Rectangular right there. And the body of this thing going down. Whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is. So what to make of that. Look at this. I mean, this. what is this? It's like, see how they like ghosted this thing? You can see whatever this is in the back, and it's kind of like ghosted out. What the guys? What is this stuff? You can see this stuff has been heavily manipulated. There's a lot of people out there still don't believe that. I don't know if this is an opening in the ground right here, but check that out. Yeah, going like this here. Well, this has actually got a line going across. This is a stitch line, but you can see whatever this is has an opening. Does this here? Is that an opening or is it just a top of something? More crazy stuff here, guys. Just look around in these, some of these things. Look at this. What is that? Perfectly round. Goes up and then back down. See that? Little pieces right here. Something right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, look at this. This is neat. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Comes straight out, drops down, slopes down, goes like this, and then comes down. See that? And then hidden, whether intentionally or naturally, comes straight out. Look at that. Comes back down and then down. And you can see, guys, this goes almost straight across. Look at it. Almost straight across. The, and does the same thing on the backside. See that? Really? And look at it from here. Here. See that? Guys, look at this. Got a slot in this thing. Oh, my God. Look at that. Straight across. Yeah, that's a rock. Sure it is. You know, people are going to have to start waking up to the fact that what we're seeing in these photos are being manipulated out and they're intelligently designed items. And like I said, I don't hate NASA. I hate the fact that they're hiding this or maybe they're uh, under a, a boss of themselves like the DOD, which is a very good, strong possibility. And I believe that's the case. So there's only so much things they can let out and 99.9% .9 of it's going to be censored. And it's a shame because I think the people are ready and can handle the truth. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I think we can all handle the truth. It's not like we haven't been desensitized. I mean, think about all these space movies. I don't know if they're just trying to say, you know, if you go by movies like Independence Day, like we're all going to be obliterated. Um, I think that if they wanted to do that, they would have done this a long time ago, right? They just would have just, because if that, that much more advanced than us, they say, well, why don't we just take the planet over? What would be the best way to do it? Just annihilate us and be done with it haven't done it yet so it tells you one thing maybe they're not just evil aliens like you see like in these movies these types of movies right uh look at this design thing look at the bottom here where it's got this piece right here it has this opening see that and then it comes across like this here uh, that's, if that's a rock that's kind of goofy looking look at this almost like a statue head of some kind of animal i'm not saying it's what it is but got like a like an eye like the, the nose type thing and, it, and i don't think it's an actual skull if anything i think it's if it, it'd be anything it'd be a statue but anyway, guys, not going to make this too much longer. Just wanted to show you that. And just awesome stuff. Um, I was busy doing my last video, so I figured why not knock this one out at the same time, right? Uh, and then just show this on a different day. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. I do have more coming up from the moon, the latest China uh, photos. And I also have some more stuff coming up from Mars and some older stuff that from our moon missions or or the LRO. So check that out. That's coming up as well. Guys, don't forget to comment. Give me your thoughts on this. What's going on here? And don't forget to like and share. It's always important as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we'll see you on the flip side.